Bro, like, no word of a lie here. I've been wondering to myself here, why don't people in North America, specifically black people in North America, why the fuck don't they ever legally carry themselves a fucking strap? Like, why don't they? Why don't they legally carry themselves a fucking gap to protect themselves at all times and at all costs? Like, you see what the fucking country is going on, like, you see, like, you got people like Permit Patty calling up the fucking police in the hopes that I can get this nine-year-old young black girl possibly shot or possibly arrested. Whichever's fine, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't mind. Whichever's fine, I don't care. Just get here and possibly shoot this nine-year-old girl who's selling bottled water without a permit. Please get here now. Like, wagwan. Welcome on everyone, it's still with KMD in there for Rant Radio. I've been away for a while, but today I got time, cuz. I got time. I got time, cuz. It's a fucking joke. I was actually quite annoyed earlier on today, man, because I'm getting sick and fucking tired. I just want to have a quick rant. I'm getting sick and fucking tired of this fuckboy ass, fuck girl ass, stupid ass, whack ass, ugh, fucking in my feelings, Kiki, do you love me fucking challenge. I'm getting fucking tired of it. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of any fucking Drake song that comes out and talking about another bitch that done him wrong. I'm getting fucking tired of hearing this guy singing. I'm getting tired of this shit. But everybody fucking loves it. This is what's hot right now. So everybody is deciding to get out of a car and start dancing along, doing some stupid, this is America, this is what I'm saying, this is America, this is what I'm saying, this is exactly what I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm saying. That while, while, most, while most people were trying to dissect that video to be like, no, you got to look up what's going on in the back. I'm like, yo, did you hear the lyrics? Like, there weren't no lyrics. He wasn't speaking about anything, which is what hip hop is about today. And... He's pretty much dancing throughout the whole fucking video. I mean, you shoot someone and then you just carry on dancing. That's what's pretty much going on in fucking North America as well. Black people are shot and killed by the police. And then we start dancing again the next day or a couple hours later. We start doing challenges the next day. That's why I said that. I feel like that song and that video was an absolute diss. It was a diss to black people more than it was to white people. Like white people just basically saying, look, this is America. This is the madness that's going on. Racism still goes on. But... It's not like we don't fucking know that racism is still going on. It's, I mean, the fucking country was built on racism. We know this shit. I know this shit. I ain't even from there, but I know this shit. The country was built on racism. But I feel like that song was there to fucking diss black people because all we fucking do is sing and fucking dance. So we do. Sing and fucking dance. So I heard this story, man. I read this story a couple hours ago on Instagram, man, and it was to do with this the young black girl, Nia Wilson, who was just randomly... Killed by some crazy ass fucking white dude, like it's just freaking crazy, like. And then some pro black pages were on Instagram saying like, look, black men gotta start looking after these black women, and they gotta start protecting, and blah 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 blah. And I'm like, we live in a world right now where women say you don't need a man, and men say fuck these bitches, fuck these hoes, and it's just like, well, who the fuck gonna protect anyone? People can't even fucking protect themselves. People can't even ride for themselves. But let me say fuck Drake, which I have on Instagram, and I get. A whole bunch of dudes dick riding for Drake. Dick riding. Getting at me because I said fuck Drake. I don't like Drake. I can't stand his music. Fuck Drake. And it's bare guys just dick riding. I thought it would be chicks. I thought it would be chicks. But it's not. It's dudes. So here we are now. Again. People still being shot. People still being killed. And I just don't understand why people like people in america mainly women as well can't just legally get themselves a fucking permit to carry your fucking strap in your handbag i mean you got everything else in your handbag you got all your makeup all of that shit come on now where the fuck is the nine where's the fuck is the nine where is it where's the nine where's the 45 caliber where's the 38 nothing special you don't need a shotgun a little 38 will do it will fucking do Protect your neck at all fucking costs because you see how the fucking world is going. You see how it's fucking going. You live in a racist ass fucking country and it's not because of Trump. So let's not sit here and just say, oh, it's only because of fucking Trump. What the fuck? You've actually got pro black pages saying blame fucking Trump. Like, bro, before Trump was president, you spent a lot of the fucking time talking about the freaking real history of North America. And now all of a sudden, it's got something to do with his toupee wearing, man. Like, dude, dude. It's like when Trump came over here to England, people were out here rallying by the thousands, telling Trump to get the fuck out of our country. We don't want you here, Trump. But I'm like, but where the fuck were you people by the thousands when Grenfell Tower happened? Where were you like then? Where were you like then? Where was anybody when David Cameron and his father, when the news came out that David Cameron and his father have a fucking tax haven wherever the fuck they've got it and haven't paid tax in, what, like 20 plus years? Where the fuck were you like then? 
I forgot. Paying your taxes. Dancing. Singing. Doing bullshit. This is what we fucking do. Bro. So this Nia Wilson girl, her and her sister was just, it's fucking sick. Like, this is what I'm saying. I just don't know what the fuck is going on with the world. It's like, it's like we're on like a, a, a it's like we're on a fucking a springboard that's like a million feet up in the air and all the way down is a pile of shit that we can barely see. We can barely see this pile of shit, but we dive anyway. We dive anyway, head first and put in a performance, do the hit somersaults and all of that corkscrew spin and all of that shit, plop, right into a fucking pile of shit. Bro. What more do people need? Why can't black parents even be telling their kids, look, outside is fucking crazy. We gotta start teaching you lot some sort of martial arts. I gotta start teaching myself some sort of martial arts. Parents don't wanna do that. They just send their child out into the world thinking everything is hunky-dory and gravy and chips, when it's fucking not. It's not hunky-dory and gravy and chips. It's fucked up. What more do you need? What more do you need? People need to start protecting their own fucking neck, yo. You have to start. You have to start protecting your own fucking neck. I don't live in North America, North America and I'm fucking glad I don't, cause I don't have the attitude or the patience to even be alive. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be alive right now. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Bro, but what people are doing now is in my feelings challenge. That's what people wanna fucking do right now. In my fucking feelings challenge. And then the next day they'll be posting a meme of fuck feelings or all of that type of bullshit. This is what I'm saying. Like nobody don't even know what sort of life they want to fucking live anymore because there's so many memes being posted all over the fucking gram. Nobody don't even fucking know what the fuck to do anymore. Everybody's fucking confused. They're just like, bro, what the fuck should I, should I follow that meme? Should I do this meme? Should I, oh, I don't know. Bruh. I don't know, man. I just wanted to come in here and quickly get that rant off my chest so I'm not going to be in there for long. I'm going to probably be dipping out now, man. Sure. But I just wanted to just fucking say, fuck that Kiki song. I don't fucking like it. Fuck anything to do with those In My Feelings Challenge. If you have a friend that wants to do the In My Feelings Challenge, drive off and leave that motherfucker in the road, please. Just drive off and leave him right there in the middle of the goddamn street. Please. This is your boy KMD for Rant Radio. Hi, it's your boy.